Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to be playing some Arachnite and World Boss Ultimate Thanos Corvus Clave. This is the team I'm going to be running with you guys. So let's take a look at my Arachnite. He has 12,600 physical attack, which is freaking pitiful, man. Man, that is low. And then let's take a look at his details. He has 118 attack speed, 31 crit rate, 195 crit damage, 37% ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. Very mediocre build, you guys. I could definitely build him a lot better than this. Um, let's take a look at his gears. He has all level 20 gears. He has no Urus. He has all level 6 skills. I want to take a look at his 5 skill. Which gives him a 3 second all immunity to damage. And an increased all attack by 15%. And then on his 3rd skill, it gives him a 35% decrease to all defense for 10 seconds. And an increased all attack by 10%. Those attacks buff, so you want to chain a 3 and a 5 together on your skill rotation. I got a Hawkeye set, stage 6, and I got a crit damage with 140% proc. Low proc, guys, nothing special. And the guy has no uni, alright? Alright, you guys. So, let's find out if this guy is worth 750 crystals. I know a lot of people are skeptical about it, so let's try him out some gameplay and find out for sure. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, you guys, so when you're playing Arachnite, what I find that works really well is you go three, cancel into the five, get the double attack buff, okay? Land the proc on the five, then hit the four, and as soon as you've seen the rain come down, well, I call it rain, hit the two, go into a full iframe, and then hit the one and go into that iframe, and then go back into your original rotation. Alright, if you do it properly, you should be able to keep chaining these skills right up together. So here we go. Now there I'm getting away because uh, I'm worried he's going to bring the purple, but Scarlet mind controlled him, so yeah. Now I'm just kind of running around. <laughs> there we go, kill! Well, maybe not. Huh. Alright, there we go, there we go. And there, you see the proc land on the five? That's which one, you guys. Alright. Run around a little bit. Booyah! Proc a little late that time. Hmm. Run around. The bad thing about this guy against Corvus anyways, and I really think against a lot of the world bosses, is yeah, that three second immunity man, he can get freaking stunned pretty easy. So you gotta be real careful with this guy man. Use those iframes. You think you're gonna get stunned? Use an iframe. Get out of there man. Because if you're sitting there, you could take a lot of damage. Now something I didn't show you guys earlier in the, on the skills is on his passive, he uh, has a 30% recovery of max HP for one second. And it's on a seven second cooldown. And you guys, so you see my life, look at it, I'm almost dead. Look at it, it just popped right back up. So if you can keep him alive, his life will come back. I'm not using any, I'm not using anti-venom in this, nothing. This is all him. Alright, except for some ignore dodge strikers and scarlet of course. This is floor 30 boys. So, here we go. Now keep in mind guys, man, I have no urus. This guy is capable of going to level 70. I mean, I gotta say, he's fairly strong. I mean, he's a decent character. This. I mean, this is pretty. This is pretty awesome. I have to say, not too bad, not too shabby. You know, should someone go out and buy this guy for 750? I don't know. It's debatable, you guys, because you know some people are free to play, and maybe they could use those crystals for a, a uniform that will buff a character even better than what this character is going to do for you. So I don't know. It's very debatable. But if you like the guy, it's definitely worth it then. So there we go, kind of switch, kind of playing safe, kind of run around here. There we go. All right, back in old freaking Arachnite. Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay, avoid this crap. You guys see that? There you go, get in those lines and stay the hell away from them flames. All right, here we go. Run around. There we go. All right. Kicking some butt, you guys, kicking some butt. Ooh, about half life right now. Ooh, careful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Here we go. Three, five. And look at that damage, guys. You gotta admit, this is pretty good damage for a guy that isn't even built. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, at first, the tier one, I didn't even really like this guy that much. But I have to admit, tier two kind of grows on me a little bit. But he definitely takes some practice with his skills. He, he has decent survivability if you can play him properly. And that's the thing, guys. Timing everything right with this guy. But as you can see, he's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, alright. Let's try to avoid anything here. Here we go. Switch back. Booyah! Kill! Oh, man. Proc hit at the end there. But still gets a good amount of damage. Here we go. If you guys don't want to use that 4, don't. Just use the 3, 5. And they go into the 2 1 if you want to be a little bit more safe about your rotation. But as you guys can see, man, floor 30, mediocre build. And I still got 40 seconds left. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.